And we are here at the 2018 Irish Film Festival Boston with the Oscar-winning actress, Saoirse Ronan. <laughs> nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Not Saoirse Ronan, but the very best, Don Morrissey, director of the Irish Film Festival Boston. We're back again. We sure are. 18 this year. Number 18 and a spectacular lineup once again. Tell us about the lineup for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday night we have Maze, which is our director's choice, my choice, with a short film called Lost Memories, which is one of the first shorts that we saw this year and loved. Saturday we have a huge amount of films on, everything from a children's uh, film at noon on Sunday, which is um, Song of the Sea. We then go into our shorts program, which everybody loves, of course. And then we have a really special film on Saturday afternoon. It's our best documentary. It's called The Farthest, and we actually have it's about Voyager and the Golden Record and anyone who's a, a space enthusiast should come to that big and small and we have MIT scientists who will be there afterwards to talk about the project because one or two of them have worked on it with the director of the film so pretty amazing Saturday night of course we have the date night film The Limit Of which is going to be fun and then Sunday we have again a huge amount of um, films that pretty much, you know, everything from Spotlight in Northern Ireland to Noel Hill, who's going to close the festival with this. Uh, he's a pretty famous, uh, pretty famous, very famous uh, concertina player in Ireland. I don't know how you do it, Don Morrissey, but you continue to get Oscar-winning films in here. The breadwinner yes. is in this year. Yes, the breadwinner's in this year. This uh, We were hoping for an Oscar. We didn't get it this year, but we did really well. We actually also want to point out that we have 50-50 parity this year in our, in our award winners male and female and we have 12 female directors this year which is amazing and that is because of Don Morrissey no that's because of the Irish film board <laughs> there you go so Cher Ronan, thank you so much for joining us here at Somerville Community Access Television well it's lovely to see everybody and I hope to see all of Somerville Dan in the Somerville Theatre of the next couple of days God love you thank thanks you. for coming thank you bye I'm here with Paul Horn, the director of Bless Me Father. Paul, welcome to Somerville. Thank you very much. Uh, lovely to be here. Yeah, and you're just getting in? Uh, I got into Boston a couple of days ago, so I got to kind of look around a little bit first. So you know that we screw up the weather report. <laughs> yeah, I've been expecting snow every day. Well, congratulations on the director's choice. I mean, uh, tell us a little bit about the film. Um, it's... Uh, yeah, that's a big question, I suppose, for a short interview, but it's, uh, it's just about two people in a confession box and a conversation that takes place over the course of 
13 minutes or so, but, you know, as usual, changes their lives forever. Is that a difficult shoot in a confessional box? Um, well, we had uh, a confession box built. Um, Mike Fitzpatrick, the... Um, the uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Mike Fitzpatrick, the... Um, I'm completely forgetting his role. Uh, Mike's never going to see this, so take your time. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, he, he's the production designer. He built a box uh, entirely for us to be able to take apart as we needed to to shoot so that we could like remove each panel to get the lights in and the camera in and then we had like a whole array of lights above it. Um, Ima Ennis Graham was the DP and she like, she's incredible with the lighting as well. She's very experienced. I'm totally looking forward to seeing it and congratulations on your award tonight. Yeah, and welcome to Somerville. Come back. Yeah. Cheers. Paul Horn, everybody. Thank you. Come on, Billy. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. I'm here with Jack Conley, the stalwart of Irish Film Festival Boston. Jack, year number 18. What year number in here in Somerville? I started uh, back in 2010. We really mustered all forces to put it right here in Davis Square. Much easier for people to come by a train. The before and after choices are terrific, and plus this venerable Summer Historic Theatre, this is the place to put this on, Joe. So you've been the supporter all these years. When are we going to see a documentary about Jack Conley? Well, it's going to be a documentary about Jack Conley in the city of Somerville, because one couldn't exist without the other, Joe. <laughs> Jack, thank you so much for your support, always and forever. Irish Film Festival Boston couldn't be here in Somerville without you and the support of Wedgwood Conley Crane. Oh, Joe, and let me tell you, we have a phenomenal crew of volunteers who put this together. Wouldn't happen without them. I'm um, just one small part. Don Morrissey and the team have done a terrific job, as we'll see this weekend. We're loving it. Have a good time at the festival over the next four days. Thank you, Jack. I'm here with Roisin Kearney, the producer and writer of The Family Way. Hello, how are you? Nice Welcome to, you. to Somerville. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. First time. So I know. Very it's excited. great though, isn't it? It's fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous. Congratulations. Amazing. Thank you so much. I'm really, really excited. Tell us a little bit about The Family Way. Okay. Well, The Family Way was written. I was, start, was doing a course in film base in Dublin, and I was doing it with Mary-Kate um, O'Flanagan, who's a fantastic script editor and wrote this little bit of a script anyway and then I was met up with Nuno Bernardo who's the director he's um, Portuguese and he's Emmy multi Emmy nominated but he had never directed it in English so he was really loved the script so he was like okay let's sit down and develop this on and that's what we did and four months later we shot it in Dublin and a shoestring running around with cameras attached to the back of the car and it was absolutely fantastic. How does it feel, though, when you do something like that and you're shooting on a shoestring? How does it feel to have it, like, premiering, you know, in a major city in the United States? It's, it's really unbelievable, to be honest. It's, I mean, at the time, it's so overwhelming because you're just so busy and you're not even thinking about the final product. You're literally thinking about scene by scene by scene and really hoping that when it all comes together it's going to be something special and people are really going to enjoy it and it's a comedy it's funny it's meant to be funny and that's really hard because you really want people to get the very quite irish humor in it and i think there will i don't think there's going to be much problem with that. i get the irish humor but a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people are going to try to figure out be, between roisin and um sersha so, oh sersha sersha Sersha, Sersha, Roisin, yes, I know, we've, we've got those names. Uh, we were talking about another name, which is Quiva, which has about 17 letters. Uh, no, it doesn't. It has about eight, but it's another one of those Irish names. With a grandniece named Neve, spelled with uh, an F. Yeah, I, I know. So much, <laughs> so much joy. Congratulations. Thank you so, so much. And I'm very excited to be here. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.
Zai, Zai, go. Zai, Zai, go. Oh, Zai, Zai, go. Yeah, Zai, Zai, go. Strawberry flow. White sailing boat. Famous quote, anecdote, furry mountain goat. Each of most get a float. And there's this song that I wrote about a Zai Zai gold. Oh, Zai Zai gold. Oh, Zai Zai gold. Yeah, Zai Zai gold. Just stop. Ruth, I want it on. Yeah. Zai Zai go, you gotta Zai Zai go, yeah Zai Zai go, yeah Zai Zai go. Your pee on the Ah, Jesus.